sternoclavicular joint dislocation. The sternoclavicular joint is the joint that links the sternum to the clavicle. The sternoclavicular joint is fixed in place by multiple muscles and ligaments. Two of the most important ligaments of the sternoclavicular joint is the anterior sternoclavicular ligament and the costoclavicular ligament. Anterior sternoclavicular ligament and the costoclavicular ligament. So, any dislocation of the sternoclavicular, uh, sternoclavicular joint is most probably caused by trauma and by high energy trauma. Other causes may, other things may cause sternoclavicular joint dislocation, but high energy trauma is the most common one. What high energy traumas can cause sternoclavicular joint dislocation? The most common the trauma that can cause sternoclavicular joint dislocation is the lateral compression of the shoulder. Lateral compression of the shoulder. Anterior blow, direct blow to the front of the joint is possible cause too, but the lateral compression of the shoulder by any trauma is the most common. Classification of the sternoclavicular joint dislocation is an anterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation. Here we can see the clavicle displaced anteriorly and the posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation. Here we can see the clavicle po uh, displaced posteriorly. The anterior dislocation of the clavicle will be visible, palpable, and has no cardiac symptoms. What do we mean by that the anterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation has no cardiac symptoms? That means that the posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation has cardiac and other respiratory symptoms. Why do we have cardiac and other respiratory symptoms in posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation? Because posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation will compress trachea esophagus and other important vessels in the mediastinum like subclavian vessels so it is much more serious and dangerous than the anterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation what investigations can be done to know the sternoclavicular joint dislocation CT scan is the, is the image to, of choice in this case X-ray is not that useful, but we can use a special type of X-ray, okay, called serendipity view to see the sternoclavicular joint dislocation. CT scan is the golden image to do here. In this CT scan, we can see one is sternum. Two is left clavicular head and it is, as we see, posteriorly displaced. How could we know that? Just link a line here. This line shows us that the clavicle is posteriorly dislocated. Okay. Four is the trachea. And as we can see here, two compresses four, so it is dangerous. Here is another CT scan and another posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation. This X-ray was able to show us a sternoclavicular joint dislocation. As we said, the golden rule is to use CT scan. Serendipity, if you X-ray, can be useful too. How 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 could we treat sternoclavicular joint dislocation? Anterior dislocation is not that dangerous. We have to reduce the dislocation by applying pressure on prominence. Internal fixation 
is not is not to be done here because this area is very dangerous it has some vital organs vessels neurons nerves and other structures so we have to do and we have to apply an external reduction by applying a pressure on the prominent in the posterior sternoclavicular joint dislocation which is the, the more serious or the more dangerous condition we have to think of closed reduction in the first place closed reduction is done by abduction abduction and extension of the arm abduction and extension of the arm if abduction and extension of the arm was not able to reduce the clavicle in place we have to, to use what we call bone forceps bone forceps is used to reduce the clavicle in a place if failed also we have to do open reduction we have to do open reduction open reduction of sternoclavicular joint dislocation should be attended by a cardiac surgeon okay for uh, because the, the there is a high risk of uh, cardiac structure structures injury this is all about sternographic joint dislocation. See you in the next video.